Welcome to the EZU course about Automation Center in EasyLinks. This video is intended for all users at an agency that have purchased EasyLinks Automation Center. In this course, you will learn about the workflow icon and how to create manual workflows. So, let's get started. First, let's discuss the workflow icon. This is located at the top right of every page in EasyLinks. This can display workflows associated with the opened applicant account or assigned to the currently logged in user. When clicked, if the user does not have an applicant account open, then they will be able to search for an applicant. Within the workflows window, there are three additional icons located under my workflows, which include the play, history, and start workflow icons. The play icon shows in progress workflows for your agency. The clock icon indicates historical workflows and results can be expanded to show the applicant's name, workflow type, started and completed dates, workflow status, and workflow owner. There is also a link to view workflow data, which displays the date and time an action was taken for a particular workflow. To manually start a workflow using a template, click on the icon that resembles a triple bar with a plus sign. This is the start workflow icon. You can select the down arrow button to the right of a workflow to display details, such as the applicant's name, workflow type, date started, workflow status, and the workflow owner. You can also view more information by clicking on view workflow. If your agency has many workflows, you'll see an option to show more workflows, if necessary. You can click on start workflow to begin a new, manual workflow. Once you have created a workflow for an applicant, it will appear on the activity tab of the applicant's account. That's all for this EZU course on Automation Center. You should now have the knowledge to use the workflow icon and create manual workflows in EasyLinks Automation Center. Thanks for watching.